there's a few interesting and very important points before you get going with your first brew is obviously this was manufactured in the factory. Does it come clean? So can I just use it like this? I'd recommend a clean. The first thing you do is just give it a clean, get rid of any kind of residue that may be, be sitting around. There's a very important step also in beer making that makes sure we don't end up with beer that has yeast infections and things in as well. Correct. Sanitization. That's a big word. Yeah. What does that mean? So that's basically where cleaning is getting rid of the visible gunky stuff that you see after a, bit, a brew. Sanitization is basically getting rid of a large percentage of the, the micro organisms that sit. You can't see them, but they're there and you need to get rid of them. Good, how do I do that? So there's two methods. One is a chemical sanitization and the other one is a heat sanitization. So heat sanitization is as simple as uh, using boiling water. And then the chemical one is uh, we have a sterilization uh, agent that we can use and it, it achieves the same thing. It can be done with cold temperature water. Which is this label? Uh, no, no, that's sorry. No, it's not actually. So that's brewery detergent. That's the cleaning. That's for cleaning. So we clean with this and then we sanitize. That's an important point. So the brewery detergent doesn't sanitize. No, no, because what you're actually doing with brewery detergent is you're cleaning, then you're rinsing. The last thing you want to do before you put the ingredients for beer into the vessel is to sanitize. So rinsing with cold water doesn't sanitize but hot water or chemical sanitization means you've got a, a sanitized environment, safe to put the ingredients in, the yeast is happy, and everyone lives harmoniously. You're gonna take us through the cleaning process now, yep. and, and then we're gonna sanitize. But what do we clean? Is it, is it everything that's in here? It's basically the vessel, the lid, the O-ring, and the uh, sediment bottle. As part of the cleaning process, it's good also to that out, it's good to take this uh, what's called the VPRV valve apart because sometimes you can get beer that comes up through it and kind of makes it sticky. So I'm taking those, those pieces out mm -hmm. so that when we put uh, these into the cleaning solution, we're uh, in good shape. So we have to take uh, the, the spins line out as well? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. This just pops out too. Yep. Uh, soft side, mm -hmm. detergent. Just tap water, can be cold or warm, doesn't need to be hot. Um, so we'll just get some of that into here. Yeah, gonna leave the bottle on and gonna open up the butterfly uh, valve. This is about one litre of water, so we can do about five grams in it. Yep. Okay, that looks to me like about one teaspoon or so. In it goes. Yep. Okay. Roll the sleeves up. So this is now just giving the inside of the vessel a clean. What's really important is to get under this ring here. Okay. okay, it's like uh, it's like cleaning a pot or a pan, right? You just get to all the surfaces, yeah? We'll just now drop these in. So drop that in, drop our VPRV valve in, drop this end, just an end to start, and the lid. We'll just make sure there's good coverage there, which there pretty much is. So we're just gonna leave that for a few minutes. Been touching all the surfaces, we've given well, everything a wipe. One pack of Aussie would see. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this stuff out, we're gonna give it a, a little rinse. So it's now clean, everything's clean. Tip that out for now. Now what we're gonna do is just give it a little rinse. Some water. Give it a good swirl around. Just let, it, let that water touch the sides. Tip it out. Before you turn it over, one of the things I always want to be dead sure that's absolutely clean is here with a little bottle screws on. Yep. Because you've got some thread there for yep. your butterfly valve. So you probably want to give that a bit of extra attention. So what we do is we're just cleaning the inside of the, uh, the thread there. Mm -hmm. A couple of litres of boiling water here. What we're actually going so to effectively do... to sanitise this, we have to sort of go through the assembly process so we can get the boiling water inside, don't we? I've closed the butterfly valve for yep. now. This we're putting a little sediment tank back on. Yep, because we're going to we're going to empty into that. And put it. PPRV is the same bolt. Yeah, this is an earlier one. It doesn't have the notch, but what you do if you have the earlier one is you just hold it in your hand and you look for the place 
where it has a very natural, where it sits quite naturally in an oval shape, which is that. See that. And then you put it on. So we're into the beer one. The beer one. And you'll notice also, quite importantly, when you put the beer line on, that's where we want it. We want it pointing into the center. What goes next? Hot water? Boiling water. Boiling? Yeah. Is there so, some significance on the temperature we're talking about here? Basically, once the water is above 70 degrees Celsius, it starts to have a sanitization effect. It, it, uh, it kills the microbes. The higher the temperature, the less time it needs to spend. So basically, at 100 degrees, it pretty much just needs to touch the surface. You want to be sure it touches all the surfaces yeah. that's going to be in, touch, in contact with your beer. Yeah. So I'm going to give this a big shake. Mm -hmm. This is where you figure out if you close everything. Yeah, and what that actually does with boiling water is it starts it's building blanket. up a little bit of pressure so that we can actually um, pour some of the uh, above 70 degree water through the lines, which has a sanitization effect. If these are a little bit wet, quite nice, just they go on nice and easy. That's all we need. And remember, this is the pouring element. So what's really important for fermentation is that this is sterile. You can always come back and address this later on if need be. So we've sanitized everything inside. Yep. Are you sure we've got everything covered? No, we've got to do the sediment bottle now, Hendrik. So we're just simply going to open that valve, let the water go in, and that is really hot water in there. So we'll just give that a bit more of a shake. And again, by virtue of the fact that it's touching the surface, uh, we've got sanitization. We're going to bring the water back in. We're going to lock that off because we're now ready to brew. That's it. That's cleaning. That's sanitizing. That's getting your lines ready. That's setting yourself up for a really good and healthy beer. Why don't we make some beer? Let's make some beer.